So I'm not sure how many of you followed this late last month because it was the holiday season, so we were all kind of preoccupied. But United Mine Workers of America, the union representing coal miners in West Virginia and a key ally to Joe Manchin, came out and they publicly rebuked Joe Manchin. He kind of at least... Uh, tacitly used them as an excuse as to why he wasn't supporting Build Back Better, but come to find out they really want Build Back Better, and they're mad that he's not supporting it, and thus they are abandoning Joe Manchin for not supporting Build Back Better. And, you know, it's not like he specifically said, this particular coal miner union doesn't want me to support Build Back Better, but the implication was that, well, you know, as a senator representing a purple state, I can't just do what these coastal elites want. This isn't a blue state, so I have to represent my constituents. But after poll after poll showed that West Virginians supported Build Back Better, for him to still use coal miners as an excuse was a little bit gross. So for them to come out and say, actually, we want Build Back Better, that was pretty huge. Now, at this point in time, Build Back Better is basically dead and there's no chance of it passing. But regardless, the uh, same union is once again coming out and they are redoubling their efforts to shame Joe Manchin for using them as an excuse. And they're basically saying, you can't do that anymore. You have to choose who you're going to support. Actual coal miners who you say you support or the owners who own the coal mines, who have an interest in putting us through hell so they can make a profit as they also simultaneously kill the planet. So Greg Sargent of The Washington Post explains, For months, Senator Joe Manchin has sold his opposition to the Build Back Better proposal as driven uniformly by a brave and hard-headed assessment of the national interest. He has warned that Build Back Better will fuel inflation and that its climate provisions will push energy markets to evolve too quickly and lead to a dangerous dependence on Chinese supply chains. It just got harder for the West Virginia Democrat to get away with this stance, and the culprit is none other than coal miners in his home state, whose union is redoubling calls for Manchin to support support President Joe Biden's agenda. What's happening now with minors seems like a seminal point. Some of the worst tropes in our politics, Democrats harbor nothing but elitist ill will towards minors and minors' way of life must be defended at all costs, are cracking up and falling away. All this emerges from a new report in the New York Times that illustrates the true nature of home state cross pressures on Manchin. He's caught between the miners' union and mine owners who vehemently oppose Build Back Better. Now, to be clear, I don't like that framing from the New York Times article article that this article cites because it's not like you know joe manchin is trying to weigh out competing interests you know who do i support the coal miners or the coal mine owners both have really compelling points and i just can't decide who to support that's not what's happening the owners are the ones who are capable of funding Joe Manchin's campaign. Coal miners cannot do that. They don't have the capital to fund his campaign. So it's a matter of corruption. He is serving the interests of his donors, not his constituents. And that's what's going on here. So we have to be very clear about this. And to give you some additional context here. So one of the provisions in Build Back Better, which would greatly benefit coal miners, is additional aid to a relief fund that helps coal miners who have black lung. So not only do they support a lot of the uh, provisions in Build Back Better and would stand to benefit from these provisions, but there's some carve-outs specifically for coal miners to entice Joe Manchin to support it seemingly. But still, after that's put in there specifically to bait Joe Manchin into supporting it, he doesn't support it, and he still has the audacity to use coal miners in his state and West Virginia's as an excuse as to why he's not supporting it. I mean, talk about the slap in the face. If this was my senator, I would be fucking pissed but yet he doesn't care he has no concern whatsoever for coal miners the article continues the united mine workers of america backs build back better because it will help mine workers transition to a future they now see as inevitable build back better contains tax incentives to spur manufacturing and consumption of alternative energy sources such as wind and solar to hasten our transition to a decarbonized economy crucially some of these tax incentives would steer some of this renewable manufacturing to coal producing regions to smooth the transition for workers away from fossil fuel oil. Miners also support Build Back Better because it would replenish a fund that aids miners suffering from black lung disease. But here's the rub. The mine owners oppose the tax incentives. Apparently, this is precisely because they would speed the transition to clean energy sources, which is bad for the coal business. So what Build Back Better would do is it would incentivize investment in clean, green, renewable technology. This is new jobs for people working in coal mines in West Virginia. So they're no longer risking their own health, but also destroying the planet for the profits of their bosses. It's it's a win-win-win. Of course, 
coal miners in West Virginia would benefit from the provisions in Build Back Better. But when there's a provision and they're specifically to help coal miners with black lung and your senator, who in theory should want to support it because of that, rejects it, that's just so morally reprehensible. And let's be clear here. They shouldn't have to rely on a fund if they have black lung. Healthcare should just be free at the point of service because we should have that in the richest country on the planet. But specifically when that's put there to hopefully get Joe Manchin to support this and he still doesn't, you've got to be pissed. So I don't blame this union for turning on Joe Manchin. It's a slap in the face, and I'm glad that they're actually speaking out. I honestly think they should feel shameful for ever supporting him in the first place, but to no longer align with him, that really is a step in the right direction that I think is commendable, so that's good. But Joe Manchin doesn't give a shit. He's not going to support them because he's made it abundantly clear he doesn't care about the employees. He cares about the employers. And he knows that if this industry goes away, you know... He's not going to get campaign contributions from coal miners. And he wants that. He cares about his reelection. And so, you know, he pretends to represent West Virginia. He pretends as if his constituents and coal miners in particular wouldn't support this socialism or these giveaways or all this spending in Build Back Better. But yet they're screaming practically at him to support it. And he still uses them for his excuse. It's just, it's truly gross. He won't even grant them the bare minimum, which is a fund, additional funds to a relief fund that would help them with black lung. It, it, I mean, Jesus, what a disgusting piece of shit, but this is not surprising for Joe Manchin. He's shown his true colors long ago, and the fact that the union is only now not supporting him is a little bit sad, but again, better late than never. I'm glad that they are continuing to put pressure on him, and they're redoubling calls for him to support Build Back Better. Unfortunately, too little too late. He's done. He's not going to support it, and I don't think that Joe Biden is going to use his bully pulpit to pressure Joe Manchin, so the opportunity is gone. The moment has passed. He got what he wanted. He he won, and now the only hope is that there's going to be at least some political price that he pays. Odds are that won't happen, but either way, he's going to be a winner. He makes lots of money as a modern-day you know, coal baron, so he doesn't care. You know, If he loses his re-election, he's still gonna be fine he's a multi-millionaire who's made money off of coal so it doesn't matter to him at the end of the day he wins you lose and that's how it goes in america